Well, I got the new remanufactured head here. It's looking pretty nice. And I've stripped off what I can off the old head. Just these dowels don't want to move, that's all. I pretty much chewed that one trying to get it out. But I've um, got all, every, all the studs out and everything. I've taken off the rear water or coolant gallery plate and I'm going to have to replace it because there's a corrosion pit which I'll show later which I'm not happy with. No point doing all this and just putting that back in. So, yes, should come up well. That's where it goes. I have to get a new plate for it. Well, here's a close up of that blanking plate. As you can see, yeah, it's pitted all around there, which, you know, that'll last. But at the bottom there, there's a decent pit in it, which is about halfway through. So, I don't like that. If it was my own vehicle, like you can get to it in the van with the head on, yeah, I'd probably reuse that. But since it's not my vehicle, I'm going to do it properly. Because, so, yeah, I'd catch it if it started leaking. Well, unfortunately, I could not find another good plate to go on the back of the head. So I spoke to the customer about it and said, look, I can seal it over with Gasket Maker just to seal up the affected areas and so it doesn't get worse, hopefully. So he says, all right, so I've done that, then put a gasket on and then resealed it again with the gasket. So, because the affected area is there. So that should hopefully last another five years or more. I'll keep an eye on it every service, though. So, and I can change it with it in the van if I do find another one. Or if this one becomes a problem, I can get it. I suppose I'll get one made. Just a flat plate and four holes drilled in it. But uh, this will do for now. Well, there's the plate on the back of the head. I've just got Brian to bolt it on for me. Uh, it looks all nice now. So that should last between three and five years at least, I'd say. Well, now that Brian's inspected my cleaning job, uh, he gives it the thumbs up. The deck's nice and clean. Decoked the pistons a bit. So, now the head can go back on. Well, it looks like Jack's come to supervise me putting the head on. So, he's got his nice supervisor seat there. And I have to work underneath him. Yep. What a cute little kitty. Well, that's all the head bolts torqued down to the appropriate settings. Um... And they're all new bolts as well. And don't forget to lubricate the threads and the tops of the bolts and washers lightly so you get the appropriate torque reading. Alright, well I've got all the push rods and rocker arms on. So next will be the manifold and then change some hoses and bullshit, change the oil. And then it should be ready to run once I flush all the coolant out. So I'm going to take the thermostat out again and flush the balls out of the block. And yeah. I didn't want to flush it with the head off, otherwise you get water in places where you don't want, like in the cylinders and in the bloody lifters and stuff. So, hmm, they're slowly getting there. Well, this is one of the manifold studs and nut, and it came out when I took it all out. The whole stud just came out, and I just went to go put it back in. I found the nut was seized onto the stud. And as you can see, the threads ripped to pieces. Someone tried stripping that on and didn't get very far. That's one of the ones that goes on in between the inlet manifold and the exhaust manifold, so you can't see it. So that was never tight, because the nut was just, you know, just two turns on, sort of thing. So, what kind of butchers were working on this thing before? You can see how that's ripped up and galled up and everything. So, I'll either cut that down and get a new nut, or just put a bolt in. One of the two.